I'm Gene Paul, and you're in Mount Savage, Maryland, and this is a farm called Leaning Pine Farm. The farm was established in 1943. My father bought the place then, and my brother and father operated it from that time until 03. And my father's still alive and kicking, doing very well, as a matter of fact. He's 95, and he's, I don't know how to describe, but he's my right-hand man. If I need any advice, I go to him, and he gives me the advice. We started with about 10 beef cattle, and right. my goal is to have 30 calves a year. The most I've had is 27. Uh, next year, I should have 31 if all the cows are bred. So maybe I'll get to that goal next year. We had a lot of Holstein cows here because we milk cows. There was a time when we were in a dairy operation, and so some of these animals, some of the brood cows, do have uh, part Holstein in them. I basically try to breed to all Angus, and we have used a Semitol bull in the last couple of years. And so we have some red animals here, but it's uh, red Angus or red Semitol. We try to tag our calves within 12 hours after they're born. They're born outside in the field, so that means checking them several times a day to make sure that mom's okay and the calf's okay. But that gets me to know when they're born, because I record that. I record who their mother was, who their father was, and the date of their birth. We have a, an intensive grazing program. I have six or seven different paddocks, and I bed my calves with chopped hay, and I bed them every day. We try to practice as much soil conservation programs as we can. We have many, I guess, miles of diversion terraces. Our land is laid off on a contour. We have contour strips so that as the land lays, we don't have uh, very much erosion. We use no chemical fertilizers, no pesticides, herbicides. Our cattle have no antibiotics. There's no growth hormones used in our cattle. Uh, it's all totally grass-fed or hay in the wintertime. Grass-fed beef is, just seems to be more natural for me. I think it's more natural for the animal. They are ruminant animals, so therefore that's the way that their, oper their system works. And so within two years, usually our animals are going to weigh 1,500 pounds, and so they're ready for slaughter. So we slaughter our animals at a certified slaughtering house uh, with a humane kill, and uh, then they're hung and frozen and processed, and the processed meat is actually shrink-wrapped or freezer-wrapped. And uh, then we sell the beef either by the quarter, by the half, or by the whole animal, or by the piece. I guess a challenge that we have here is that we we farm hillsides. We don't farm the valleys and we don't farm the top of the mountains. I always say Garrett County farms the top of the mountains. Allegheny County farms the sides of the mountains and other people farm in the valleys. Well, farming the sides of the mountains, that means you do have some steep slopes. And, uh, well, if you're going to pasture your animals, uh, that's a nice place to pasture them on the steep slopes simply because you don't have to put a, all your equipment on there and try to make hay and do those things. But uh, the steep slope, I would say, is one of the big big challenges. Uh, also, I guess a market uh, that we are very rural in Allegheny and Garrett County, so you don't have the market that there are other places. But um, my niece and I, basically, she does most of the marketing, and I do most of the farm work. And my dad still, as I said, he's still a big part of the decision-making of what goes on in the farm. Farm does not belong to me. The farm belongs to the family. It's an incorporated farm. Locally grown, they know where their beef is grown. They know what kind, if they want to come here and view the place, they know what this place looks like. It's not tender, loving care, but it's more natural care. I thought it was going to be easier than it, than it was. I didn't think that I'd, I could work 12 hours a day and not get all my work done, but that's the way it seems to be here. But it is fun or I wouldn't do it. I really enjoy the beef operation. It's a lot less intensive than milking cows twice a day, 365 days a year. I enjoy doing grass-fed beef.